In part 1, we briefly explored what makes the F-22 Raptor a technological marvel. Today we will dive deeper into the engineering solutions that make it number one in the sky and take a closer look at the weapons it uses. So what exactly made the F-22 such a leap forward? On the outside, sharp, angled surfaces that bend radar waves and make it nearly invisible. Under the hood, twin engines that push it almost to Mach 2 without afterburners, thanks to Super Cruise. And inside, a brain of its own. Advanced sensor fusion that gives the pilot a real-time 360 view of the battlefield. It's not just about speed or stealth, it's about striking first, without ever being seen. Now let's take a closer look at each feature that makes this fighter jet so lethal and effective in the air. The F-22 wasn't just built to fight, it was built not to be seen. Every line, angle and surface on the Raptor serves a purpose – to scatter radar waves and reduce its radar cross-section. Its blended wing body, canted tail fins and sharp edges all help deflect radar away from enemy receivers. The jet's body is covered in a special radar-absorbent material – RAM – that soaks up radar energy while its canopy is also being coated in a thin layer of indium tin oxide, resulting in its iconic golden glow. Thanks to this, the F-22 can appear as small as a metal baseball on enemy radar or vanish entirely at long range. Low observable coatings play a crucial role in giving the Raptor its stealth capabilities. Every night, once the jet returns to base, it's moved into a hangar where a thorough inspection is conducted. Each aircraft is examined for approximately 45 minutes to identify and document any new damage to its stealth surface. Maintaining the LO coating involves removing panels, applying paint, sanding and sealing any gaps with specialized materials. One of the F-22 Raptor's most defining features is its internal weapons base. Unlike most fighter jets that carry missiles under their wings, the F-22 stores all its weapons inside the fuselage. This design drastically reduces the aircraft's radar cross-section, preserving its stealth profile even while fully armed. The Raptor has three internal bays – a large main bay beneath the fuselage for medium-range missiles and two smaller side bays near the air intakes for short-range missiles. These doors open for just a few seconds during weapons deployment, then close immediately, making the F-22 nearly invisible until the moment it strikes. Stealth also means staying hidden from heat-seeking systems. This is where engineers invested extraordinary effort. Flat engine nozzles diffuse heat, engines are buried deep inside the fuselage, and special materials are used to reduce the aircraft's IR footprint. Right now you can see the difference between the F-35 and F-22 through a thermal camera. When it comes to speed, F-22 isn't just fast. It rewrites the rules of aerial speed and control. Thanks to its twin Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, it can supercruise, fly up to Mach 1.5 without afterburners. That's about 1,800 km per hour without the extra fuel burn or glowing heat signature that usually gives away supersonic jets. To put it simply, it can break the sound barrier and stay there while staying stealthy. Most jets need to light up like a fireball to do that, guzzling fuel and showing up on every radar screen. The Raptor? It cruises past the speed of sound like it's nothing – fast, silent, invisible. Flying at those speeds isn't just hard on the jet it's brutal on the pilot. Pulling tight turns at Mach 1.8 can subject the body to up to 9 Gs of force. That's 9 times your body weight pressing down on you. It's enough to make an unprepared person black out in seconds. That's why Raptor pilots wear special G-suits – tight-fitting gear that squeezes the legs and abdomen to keep blood flowing to the brain. Without it, even the best trained pilots would pass out long before they could win a fight. The jet is incredibly agile, thanks to a combination of cutting-edge design and powerful engines. It can maintain controlled flight at extreme angles of attack – over 60 degrees, which means 
it can keep flying even when its nose is tilted way up. In fact, in test flights, pilots have pushed the jet to angles exceeding 100 degrees while still maintaining control. Its engines can factor their thrust by up to 20 degrees, allowing the Raptors to pivot, flip and twist in mid-air, moves that older jets simply can't match. This incredible agility lets the F-22 perform advanced maneuvers like the Herbst maneuver and Pugachev's Cobra, giving it a massive edge in dogfights. In real terms, the Raptor can climb at incredibly steep angles, reaching up to 60,000 feet near its operational ceiling in just over three minutes, almost straight up. Put simply, this isn't just a fast fighter jet, it's a game changer in how air combat is fought. But none of that would matter if it couldn't hit its target effectively. So let's break down what makes the Raptors so deadly, weapon by weapon. And first on our list, 20mm Vulcan Cannon for close-range combat. The F-22 is equipped with M61A2 Vulcan, a 20mm six-barrel rotary cannon built for short-range engagements. It's internally mounted near the wing root and carries about 480 rounds, giving the pilot a few short bursts during combat. At full firing rate, this would last less than 10 seconds, so managing the ammo efficiently is critical. This cannon was originally designed to fire up to 6,000 rounds per minute. However, the version used on the F-22 has a lightened construction, which allows it to spin up faster, a crucial factor in close-range engagements. This setup balances firepower and precision, ensuring pilots can unleash highly effective short bursts during intense dogfights, where missiles may not be an option due to range, angles or electronic countermeasures. It remains an essential tool in situations where visual contact with the enemy is required. In exercises, F-22 pilots have demonstrated high kill probabilities, even in close quarters engagements, thanks to the aircraft's agility and precise targeting systems. While the Vulcan remains more of a last-resort weapon for rapid close-range encounters, the Raptor is also equipped with more effective air-to-air -air weapons that are far from outdated when it comes to engaging modern adversaries. The F-22 was originally equipped to fire older AIM-9M missiles, but now carries far more superior M9X Sidewinder for close-range air combat. Unlike the AIM-9M, which required the target to be directly in front, the AIM-9X can lock onto enemies far off the nose thanks to its advanced infrared seeker and thrust vectoring controls. It's faster, more agile and nearly impossible to shake once it's locked. And although it's over four times more expensive, its hit probability in a dogfight makes it worth every dollar. The AIM-9X is an infrared-guided short-range air-to-air missile specifically designed for high-agility close-quarters combat. It has a maximum range of around 20 to 30 kilometers and can reach speeds exceeding Mach 2.5. What makes it especially effective is its high off-bore side targeting capability. It can engage targets even if they are not directly in front of the aircraft. The pilot can simply look at the threat and the missile will adjust its flight path accordingly. This is made possible by its advanced seeker head and helmet-mounted queuing system. Although F-22 pilots rarely need to enter dogfights, the sidewinder is a critical fallback option when stealth and long-range missiles are no longer viable. On February 4, 2023, an F-22 Raptor scored its first air-to-air -air kill by shooting down a Chinese surveillance balloon over the Atlantic Ocean. The aircraft, flying at 58,000 feet, launched an AIM-9X sidewinder to destroy the balloon, which was at roughly 60,000 to 65,000 feet. The operation, conducted off the coast of South Carolina, was the highest altitude air-to-air -air engagement in U.S. history. Debris was recovered by the Navy in waters 47 feet deep, about 6 miles offshore. When it comes to beyond visual range combat, the F-22 carries the upgraded AIM-120D AMRAAM, a missile that leaves its predecessors far behind. Compared to the older AIM-120C, the D model offers nearly 50% more range, two-way data link for in-flight target updates and enhanced resistance to jamming. It's smarter, faster and deadlier, 
making it one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles ever deployed. And this beast can carry up to six of them. The official range is classified, but these radar-guided beyond visual range missiles can engage targets over 100 miles away at speeds exceeding Mach 4. With data link support, the AMRAM can receive mid-course updates from the F-22's radar or other allied platforms, adjusting its flight path until its own seeker locks on. This makes it highly effective for engaging enemy aircraft before they're even aware of the threat. While the AIM-120D variant has no publicly confirmed combat use, earlier versions, like the AIM-120A, have proven their effectiveness in real operations. For example, in 1992, during a patrol over southern Iraq, a US F-16 became the first aircraft in history to score a kill with the name 120A AMRAAM, shooting down an Iraqi MiG-25 that violated the no-fly zone. The missile struck the target beyond visual range, proving its combat effectiveness against fast, high-altitude threats just months after entering service. Now we move on to the weapons that make the Raptor not just a threat in the sky, but a lethal hunter of ground targets. The GBU-32 JDAM and the smaller GBU-39 Small Diameter Bomb, or SDB. These weapons turn the Raptor into a true multi-role fighter capable of dominating both air and ground battles. The GBU-32 JDAM is a 1,000-pound class bomb equipped with a GPS guidance kit that converts a traditional dumb bomb into a precision weapon. It uses an inertial navigation system combined with GPS to achieve an accuracy of about 5 meters, making it highly effective against stationary and fortified targets such as bunkers, command centers, or hardened vehicles. Each JDAM bomb has a blast radius sufficient to neutralize entire enemy installations or critical infrastructure with a single strike. The Raptor can carry up to two of these bombs internally, maintaining stealth by avoiding external hardpoints. On the other hand, the GBU-39 SDB weighs only 250 pounds, roughly a quarter of the JDAM's weight. Its smaller size allows the F-22 to carry up to eight internally, significantly increasing the number of targets it can engage in a single sortie. Despite the smaller size, the SDB delivers a powerful warhead with precision guided by GPS and an inertial navigation system, accurate to within 3 meters. Its compact design also enables it to penetrate hardened targets and strike mobile or time-sensitive threats with minimal collateral damage. Both bombs are dropped from internal weapon bays preserving the Raptor's stealth profile and allowing it to penetrate contested airspace undetected. In combat, JDAMs have been used extensively in conflicts like Iraq, Afghanistan and Syria to dismantle enemy infrastructure, destroy armored formations and support ground forces with precise strikes. The SDB has proven effective in recent conflicts for taking out smaller or moving targets with surgical precision, reducing the risk to civilians and infrastructure. The F-22's ability to deploy these weapons with stealth, speed and precision makes it a versatile and deadly platform not just for air superiority, but for ground attack missions as well. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and for your support. To keep getting access to our exclusive content available only to sponsors, make sure you maintain your sponsor status and turn on the notification bell, as we've got much more coming. See you in the next mission.